all right so in this video i'm gonna do a review of the huawei fan and android 2.2 now with the update and i thought i'll start this video by showing you the startup what's new about it and now it's gonna start up now from now on and well yeah let's start it off also Oh, you know what? I'll just mention it a little later. Hmm. Metro PCS. Wireless for all. And as we've noticed, it no longer says Android after the the Huawei sign. the Huawei logo, because uh, usually it would like say Huawei and then for a few seconds and then switch to Android which would be there for a few more seconds now and then and then it will go to the Metro PCS shit and as you see it actually it seems to start up a little faster um, I guess you could judge that yourself I don't know like which may think about that but from what it seems it might seem to be a little faster <clears throat> and as always, is is starting up is going to be a little slow because it has to load <coughs> everything, and this is true for all Android phones, including the Evo, which I also have. It does take a little while to start up, but that's that's normal. Usually, how it used to be with Android 2.1, uh, it would take longer to turn on, and right now it is it would say something like loading. And if you don't believe me, check out one of my other videos, and I believe that it says that all right no actually yeah i might have a video i'm not really sure anymore um well moving on um the update is is not android 2.2.1 this update is actually android 2.2.2 .2 and i'm gonna prove it right now this actually a lot of people have been confused with this and you might not be able to read that, but right, well, yeah, you can actually. It says Android 2.2.2, .2, and that's what it is. So, moving on. Another thing I would, I would like to mention is that a lot of people had problems with uh, the way Angry Birds um, performed in the other version, and in this version, actually, it's running... Uh, a lot lot better you know um uh i wouldn't complain about it anything and right now i'm gonna i'm gonna show you how it runs in a bit I'll just, let me just um do something real quick All right, sorry for that. Uh, uh, I had to. Um, sorry for the little break, but yeah, continuing. Um, all right, as I was saying, I was gonna review how the so a few apps worked and show you. We're gonna go to Angry Birds, which apparently I don't have anymore. Hmm, that's not very good, is it? All right, so. Let's download it from the Android market. And as of right now, this phone is not rooted. Well, it well you could root it. I'm, what I'm trying to say is that I have not rooted in any other way. In any way, I have not modified it. This is still how it would be um, with a with a update. Angry Birds. And yep. You can see it's actually uh, the uh, well. Apparently, I do have it. Why the fuck didn't it appear? Well, anyways, moving on. Well, I'm about to open it right now, and um, uh, it performs well. I wouldn't complain actually. 
I know a lot of people might want want to see how this would look, and I'm gonna show you. And it actually does start up faster than Android 2.1 version started up. This one seems to be a lot better actually. So I'm gonna show you right now. <clears throat> I'm going to show you how it performs with the background and without the background. So, starting up. And I guess after this you could like pretty much decide on your cell. You are going to see a little lag um, right now. But, don't worry. This, this is with the background and everything. There's nothing disabled and... Since it's not rooted, I cannot take out the ads you see right here. So, it is going to be... And the ads do affect the performance. So, after you root it and um, you, you get the app to uh, get rid of the ads, the performance will be significantly better. But, right now, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how it is uh, without the background. So, I mean, with the background, actually. So, as you can see, it's it doesn't... On the Android 2.1 with the background, it would lag a lot. As you can see right now, it runs a lot, a lot better. You know? And, well, I'm going to do two levels, and then, um, I'm going to do two levels with, um, with, without the background, and you can see the difference, and, and pretty much judge for yourself. So, yeah, I did that level. So, moving on. And before you say I suck, you gotta keep in mind that I'm looking through a camera. Alright, that's enough of that. Now, without the background, you can see the there is a difference, actually. You see, it actually runs a lot better given that there's the ads still. And when you get rid of them, it will be way better. So you see, absolutely no lag at all. this all right whatever so now you see how it runs with and without the background now moving on um i have not been able to download a lot any apps at all but let me just show you how it is it has five home screens which kind of sucks i liked it when it had nine home nine home screens but uh, for now i guess it is what it is um as right here is the call apps and the browser button and we yeah, have right here the shit like that I have not had much time to do anything, so, uh, oh, also the YouTube app, it's, it's a lot different now, and you'll, <clears throat> you'll be able to see the run of the difference, I'm, I'm not gonna play the music since I don't wanna get copyrighted, no shit on my video, but, as you can see, like, it, you, you can see the difference about how it is and then you have like right here like little shits and you can view the comments as if you like scroll down and while the video is playing you can see the comments son of a bitch comments it's actually changed a lot and you could either double, double tap on this or just uh, go like that to the side and now it's in landscape mode and you you can see it's it, it, it is like a lot better now well actually it pretty much depends on like how you like it but you can see there's a change in that and um, something else that has changed obviously it's right here the menu buttons and also the menu color you can see right here it has changed a lot 
and I showed you already that it is Android 2.2.2 .2, not Android 2.2.1 uh, I do not have the Huawei Sen Special Edition. Uh, I've he I've heard actually that it's Android 2.2.1, and uh, I don't think that's correct since the update for this one was 2.2.2. .2. But if it is, then that means I guess this the people that bought this phone uh, when it originally came out. Uh, had got a better deal then since this one's 2.2.2 .2. so yeah also I would like to mention that with the update this phone is not uh, multi-touch enabled like the Chinese version was with the 2.2.2 .2 update which is a big bummer as you can see look you you you, you can't do that you still have the little to zoom in zoom out buttons that kind of sucks because it would be nice to be able to use apps that require multi-touch but uh it's a big thing but then again it's not so it's yeah also when i first opened up the the market like um i'm not sure if you if anybody else will experience this and if you do, uh, tell me about it. Uh, on the when the first opened it up, it resembled um, App Planet app with the uh, it said apps, games, and downloads, and it looked way more different. The second time I opened it, it looked like this. I don't know what the fuck happened there, but um, if it happens to you, let me know because that's kind of weird. Also, um, still no, uh, don't expect Flash to be right here since uh, it's not compatible with mo with most of these phones. Also, um, I don't really know what else uh, to review since I haven't had much time. I, I have I barely uh, installed this. Um, I'll review more probably later or comment and tell me what else you want me to show you if you're considering to update a 2.2 .2 and aren't still convinced uh, let me know uh, what you want to know what, what you want me to review about this and if you're planning to buy it so what you know to, like if, if you want to buy it comment tell me and I'll make another video since oh oh also uh this is different message. Um, I lost my contacts, so that pretty much sucks ass. So I can show you, but I'll show you how it how it looks like the contacts. You you can see dialer looks. Um. Also, the you can see the icons are different, and you might not notice it here, but there is little change in the in the in the bar up notification notification bar and the background on this shit. It's a little different. Also, yeah, you notice that the app menu, the ad, app drawer is actually different. Um, I would suggest rooting it and removing a lot of these apps also the the memory is it's actually improved if you go to settings and you'll see there's actually a lot more available memory it's actually I don't, I don't know what the fuck happened there but yeah um i really don't know what else to say since i haven't had much time like i said to 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 mess around with this one but i guess for now, I just talked about the, a little bit of shit and hit me up on the comments and tell me what, what else you want.